Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Microsoft Rewards Punch Card Guide. So today, if you take a look in the Microsoft Rewards app, we've got basically a new top 10 punch card, although you'll see that there are actually only five games for this month. But the punch card is called Save the Day, Save the World this time, and it is worth 500 rewards points. We've got the entire month of April to finish this, so you'll need to finish it by April 30th to get the points. And the five games are all shown at the top here. So it says we need to earn three achievements in any one of these five eligible games. They're also listed on the left side of the screen. And actually this one's a little strange. It actually only requires two achievements. So we'll take what we can get here and hopefully it will continue to only require two achievements for the rest of the month. And I am going to link to some guides that I've done previously in the description for Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite has some really easy achievements that you can get in it in just a few minutes for kind of customizing your character, customizing your vehicles, things like that. So if you haven't already grabbed all of those achievements in Halo Infinite, you may want to go that route to get two achievements for this punch card. But if you're like me and you have already gotten a lot of achievements, all the easy ones in Halo Infinite, then Ben 10 Power Trip is a good option. This one's available in the class and it'll only take us about 15 minutes to get the two achievements that we need in this game. This one's also made by Outright Games, which has helped us with a lot of giveaways here on the channel in the past, so shout out to Outright Games. This one's going to be fairly easy. It'll only take us about 15 minutes to get through it and to get those two achievements that we need. So let's just get started with a brand new game. And this one's nice because it's single player, doesn't require any sort of multiplayer achievements or anything. We can press A to quickly page through the dialogue in this game whenever we're having a conversation to save a little bit of time. And then you can press your menu button to bring up the map and then you can just put your map away quickly. And this first section is just on showing us how to do movement within the game. So we can move around with our left stick, look around with our right stick as usual and press A to jump as usual, so nothing out of the ordinary there. Now the next feature that's coming up I do like hitting the right trigger and you can use the scooter, so that's kind of the sprint within this game. It's nice to be able to get around a little bit faster in some spots of this. So use that right trigger for the scooter when you need to. So we're going to move up to this waypoint here and get off of our scooter, so hit the right trigger again and then walk up the staircase and talk to the ranger who's up here. And he's going to give us our first mission. Alright, so now we need to go to the stereo, which is in a tower that's back behind this building. So we're just going to walk down the stairwell, and then go behind the ranger station, and then look to the right. And inside of this fenced-in area, you'll see the tower back here. So we just need to walk up the tower steps, and put the tape into the stereo, and then we'll have our little portal that appears for us to take us into our next section of the game. So we'll press X to put the tape in, and then the portal will appear for us, and we'll be well on our way to getting our first of two achievements that we need for this. So we'll just go through the portal here. And when we get to the next section, we are going to gain the heat wave ability and that's gonna get us our first achievement. So we're gonna go through the void here and just kind of jump across the gaps. And we'll get to this little flaming heat wave over here. Or heat blast, I think his name is, heat blast. There he is. All right, so as soon as you press X there, you should get the achievement. It didn't appear on screen for me, so I'm just kind of showing it in the achievement tracker, but you should get the turning up the heat achievement there. And as it says on screen, you can press A to do a double jump with Heat Blast. So make sure you can do that whenever you need to, whenever the jump is really high. So we'll see some of those coming up in a couple of minutes. When you get to the base of this little tower, you'll have a barrier that pops up around you and you'll have to press X and Y to take out some of these little creatures that start fighting you. It's a pretty easy combat in this game, at least in this first section anyway. So we'll head up the tower at this point, just kind of wind our way around 
and back behind us. And then when you get up to the boxes, hit your left trigger to use the flamethrower and burn that down. And when we get up to the torch here, we're going to use our left trigger to light the torch. As you can see, there are three torches that are needed. I headed over to the right side torch first, and there's an enemy that pops up here, so you can destroy him if you want to. Not completely necessary, but you can. And then hit your left trigger to light the second torch. Again, that was the one on the right side. Sorry for the little jump cut there. Now we're going to head back across to the tower that's on the left side, and two enemies will pop up here, but you can just ignore them and just double jump your way up to the top of the tower, and then hit your left trigger to light the third torch. And then again on the way down, you can just ignore those enemies again. It's not necessary to finish the area to actually defeat them, so you can just ignore them and move on up to the doorway. And we'll head out the portal, and that'll take us back to the regular world, out of the void. But once we get back to the regular world, we still have the ability to use Heat Blast, and we can kind of alternate and switch back and forth between Ben and Heat Blast. So you'll just do that with your uh, D-pad. So if you look at the D-pad at the lower left corner of the screen, you can press left on the D-pad to switch to Heat Blast. You can press down on the D-pad to switch to Ben. And mainly the reason I switch back and forth is either if I need to use the actual Heat Blast like this, and burn something down, then I'll switch to Heat Blast, or if I need a double jump, then I'll use him. And if I want to move really quickly, then I'll switch to Ben, because he has the scooter. So he can he can hit his right trigger and you know move across the map pretty quickly. So you'll see me doing that a little bit coming up, switching between Ben and Heat Blast to just kind of move more efficiently. So now we need to do some of these little missions in, in and around the Ranger area. So the first one is clearing the road. So let's use Heat Blast and we'll burn up some of these trees that have crashed onto the road. So you can see at the upper right, there's an objective there to remove one out of five trees. This is our second tree. So we've got to remove all five of the trees to finish up this mini mission. And we just have a few of these to do. And then after we do that, and complete a few of these mini, mini missions, then we will get our second achievement for doing an upgrade. So here's tree number four, just burning that one up. And you can see here I switched to Ben so that I could use right trigger and the scooter to get over to the fifth tree a little faster. So feel free to do that to kind of speed up your, your movement a little bit if you need to. So we'll head back to the quest marker back here, the little exclamation point, and that'll take us back to the ranger to talk to him and to finish up that mini mission. Oh, don't worry. Excellent. Man, blasted bird nest. Hang tight. I'll have your keys in no time. All right, so now we need to go retrieve his keys from a nest. So let's jump down, and it's kind of over in this direction. And we'll need to do some jumping. Now there are these bushes around this area. If you step onto them, they will basically kind of bounce you up. They're like little trampolines. So if you need to get any extra height, you can use the bushes to do that. We'll press X to collect the keys, and then we just need to head back to the ranger station again. So we'll talk to Ranger Ryan to finish up that quest. It says we've got a power bar. You can just press A to get past that. Now we need to start the mission with the picnic basket plunders. So this is a bunch of battles. They're not very difficult, but you will have to battle a number of creatures over here. It'll automatically change you into your heat blast form because you know he's the he's the combat form. So we'll just use X and Y, and you can use the X X Y combo that is showing on screen there if you like. And once we've destroyed all of these guys, we'll move on to the next section. So just keep following your little indicators that are on screen that show you where you need to be going to find each of the battles. So we'll head over to the second battle here. I've got a fireball with your name on it. And basically just repeat the process. So we're defeating all the enemies in this area, just using X and Y, using some combo attacks when we can. And then we've got a third area off in this direction. 
let's go over here and we've got some bigger stronger looking guys it says you can use b and the left stick to dodge so if any of these guys look like they're about to you know hit you with a heavy attack you could use b to dodge there now we need to speak to the troubled couple over here so press x to talk to them so that mission is finished now you can see we keep getting rewards for each one of those. So the next one is Troublesome Tunes. So we need to find the source of the music. And it is just over this cliff to the left. So if you follow the little exclamation point and kind of drop down off of the cliff, then you should see the sort of stereo system or iPad or whatever that is over there. And you could press X to get this mission started. So this one is pretty easy as well. We're gonna fight a new one of the bosses, but we really don't have to fight him. We've just gotta kinda of walk across the floor and turn off his sound machine that's over there. So that is Lord Decibel, apparently one of the enemies from the series. All right, so we're trying to get just basically straight ahead of us and don't step on any of the tiles that have the X's on them. And some of them will kind of come and go some of them are solid, like this first one. You just jump over that. But you can see that the rest of them are kind of moving tiles. So just avoid the moving tiles, and you should be in good shape. You can just jump over them when you need to as well. And then we'll head up to the sound machine at the end and press X to turn that off, and that will finish this mission. Better keep an ear out for Lord De first. I need to find Ranger. I'm King of the Scoops. All right, so just a couple more things to do. Let's move over and talk to the Ranger one more time. And don't try to talk to him while you have your scooter out like I did. That doesn't really work out too well. Make sure to put your scooter away before you start talking. Hi, I am. I've heard report. One of the locations. Is you need to investigate. Thanks, Ranger Ryan. All right, so you get a phone call at this point, you can answer it and just kind of skip through it. And then you'll probably want to use your scooter to move over to the next section. It's a little bit far of a distance. So just keep following towards the waypoint and you should be able to get there. And this is actually gonna be our last side mission that we have to do. And as soon as we finish this one, we will be able to get our upgrade and get that second achievement that we're after. So what we've got to do is collect these sticks. And if you turn around, you'll see they're kind of lit up with little flames around them. So just kind of keep moving around and grabbing 10 different sticks. There are at least 11 of them. There may be more, but they're pretty easy to see. So just keep kind of scavenging around the area and you should be able to find 10 of them. And there are some up on top of this hill here, so be sure you head up on top of the little hill and grab a few of them up there. I think there are four or five of them up on top of there. All right, treasure! So after you've got the 10 sticks, you can just head back over, put the sticks down and start the fire using your heat blast ability. And then the mission will basically be complete and we'll be able to start using that upgrade that I mentioned. We'll save some for you too, Ben. Now that the rust bucket's back in order, I can give you a lift so you can save the world even faster. <laughs> and I'll hold on to any cool stuff you find around Strudelbeck. Looks like I have a big adventure ahead of me. Now, where should I go first? Ben 10 so it kind of pulls back and we get the Ben 10 Power Trip logo there. 
and it says that we finished the mission and here's the upgrade so i chose luck because i thought the toughness and power were already sufficient in this game but choose whatever you like and as soon as you do that then you should get the achievement again my achievement pop-ups weren't working today but i just switched over to the achievement tracker so that you could see that the achievement did unlock for me just there today so that was the getting stronger achievement for choosing your first upgrade so again, that's all we need. We only need two, even though it says three in the punch card. So if you switch back over to the Microsoft Rewards app, then you should see that you've already got the first check mark completed for earning an achievement in one of the five games. So there it is, we've got that there. And then you can click on claim points to claim the 500 points and add them to your account. And that's pretty much it. That's all we've got to do for the save the day, save the world punch card. Again, I've got some easy Halo achievements that are in the description of the video in previous guides that we did for that game, so feel free to use those as well. But I think that's going to do it for today. We've also got the April monthly bonus round punch card that's available in the US, UK, and Canada, but it doesn't require any achievements or anything for this month. So I'm just going to probably post that on the community tab today to give everybody a heads up about that. So that's going to do it for Save the Day, Save the World. I will look forward to seeing you all in future guides. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit the bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description if you want to stay connected. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.